Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today I will be showing you how to get keys of terror, keys of hate, and keys of destruction. I'll show you how to get them and also where to get them. And towards the end, I will show you what they're used for and what your reward is if you use the keys. Spoiler, you get a torch at the end. In order to get keys of terror, keys of hate, and keys of destruction, you have three different targets that you need to eliminate. Target number one is the Countess in the Forgotten Tower. She's gonna drop you a key of terror if you run her enough times. Target number two is the summoner located in the Arcane Sanctuary. Once you kill him a few times, he'll drop a key of hate. Target number three is Nilothak in the Halls of Vaat. Once you kill him a couple times, he can drop a key of destruction. And yeah, let me show you where they are and hunt them down real quick for you. Just an FYI guys, you cannot get keys of hate, terror, or destruction unless you are in hell mode. If you are not in hell mode, they will not drop the keys. So make sure that you're in hell mode before you start doing these. Anyways, onto the Countess. Countess is in the Black Marsh. Here we go. Got lucky, got right next to it. It's a little tower construct like that, and it's called the Forgotten Tower. Once you get in, there'll be Tower Cellar Level 1, and you'll need to get from Tower Cellar Level 1 to Level 5. Boom, here we go. Tower Cellar Level 5. And if you just come up here, you, depending if you have Teleport or not, you'll have to come around this way. But once you get up to here, Countess is green and she looks like that. There we go. Bang. So if you get lucky, she'll drop a key of terror. Alright, moving on to the summoner. We're gonna go to the Arcane Sanctuary in Act 2. This one, unfortunately, is kind of like a guessing game. You know, a little little 1 in 25 chance here of uh, actually picking the right one, but once you do find the right one, he'll be there. I got a little lucky. I guessed wrong three times, but guess what? You can't guess wrong four times, so I know he's going to be up here. And there he is. Big blue robe, dude. Whatever. Take him down, and he could drop a key of hate. Last but not least is Nilothak, located in the Halls of Pain. He can drop a key of destruction. Once you're in the Halls of Pain, you're going to, you know, take a route. Um, I do cover a video on how to get to Neil attack pretty quickly so I'll link that in the top right or in the description there for you so you can get to him quicker and you don't have to guess as much but you know once you do find him though here in the Halls of Vaunt try not to get clapped here Oy. okay we're good but yeah so he can drop a key destruction if you get lucky just very quickly you guys I'm going to show you a couple clips of me getting the keys from all the respective bosses just to show that it is possible to get those keys and that you know those are the right people to farm in order to get them. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to get three. So you want to get three keys of terror, three keys of hate, and three keys of destruction. And that's what we're going to use to open up Uber Tristram. So once again, once you've farmed three of each, you're ready to go. I've gone ahead here and gotten on my Fury Druid for doing Ubers. And now we're going to use these keys to make three different portals. Now in order to make a portal, you need one of each key. So let's see. One key of destruction, one key of hate, and one key of terror. All right? So you put, all, you put three of each in your cube. Once you have a key destruction, hate, and terror all in the same cube, and by the way, this only works if you're in Harrogath, it has to be in Harrogath, and it has to be in Hell Mode. That's the only place you can spawn the portals, right? And then once you transmute all three of the keys, you get a portal. The portals open randomly. Like, there's only three portals. Furnace of Pain, Forgotten Sands, and the other one, I don't remember. But like I said, as long as you have three full key sets, you know, of each, you'll be fine. It's always really good practice to make sure that your portals aren't right on top of each other because uh, that could cause a lot of issues. But like I said, once you're done, you're gonna have a portal to the Furnace of Pain, Matron's Den, and Forgotten Sands. Each portal contains a boss, and once you kill the, that boss, they'll drop an item. And once you collect all three of the different items from the different bosses, you can use those to create a portal to Uber Tristram. All right, let's go ahead, let's do Forgotten Sands first. I'm gonna run into Uber Durial. Right, there he is. And we're gonna smack him. All right, and once you smack him down, you're gonna get a Bale's Eye. Gonna look like that, there you go. Next up, we're gonna do Furnace of Pain, who, which has Uber Azul. There we go, I found him. All right, we're gonna go ahead, take him down. There we go, got him. Drops Mephisto's brain. Looks like that little brain right there. 
All right, last one I gotta take down is Lilith, and she's in the Matron's Den. All right, I found Lilith. Let's smack her down, dude. There we go, took her down. Got Diablo's horn. Looks like that, there you go. Now, once you've gotten all three of your pieces, your Diablo's horn, Mephisto's brain, and Bale's eye, and then you transmute them, it's gonna create a portal to Uber Tristram. Here we go, we're gonna transmute them. Bang, just like that. Gonna send you Tristram. Now that the portal's open, I'll see you guys back when I get my torch. And there you guys have it. So as long as you have a pretty decent Uber Tristram build, you know, for doing Ubers, you can you can do it. You can kill them all. And once you do, you'll be rewarded with a large charm, which is in this case it's a torch. You know, well, you'll see. And yeah, let's see what I got. Boom. It's a 1714 Zon torch. And yeah, that's it guys. That is how you get keys and that is also how you get a torch. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments or if this was just helpful in general. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.